Glory to his name. Shall we pray? May the Almighty help you never to miss the time of your visitation in the name of Jesus. Now, this is by the strength and the ability of the Spirit of God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And I will encourage you as a child of the Most High, if this is your first time, I encourage you as a friend and as a brother, never forget this message. You know, many people have missed opportunities. Many have lost great opportunities because they didn't know the time of their visitation. In Luke 19, verse 44, let us hear the word of God. I'm going to read from the verse 43. It says, For the days shall come upon thee, that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee on every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not live in thee, one stone upon another. Because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. Now this is what the Lord Jesus told the Israelites. That God visited them. And yet because of their spiritual sleepiness, they couldn't identify the time God visited them. And as a result of that, as a result of their inability to design the times and know when God paid them that visit, as a result of the fact that they were in spiritual stupor, a kind of comatose spiritual state, they couldn't recognize the time the finger of God appeared in their homes. They could not see and realize that the Almighty was walking in their streets in the form of human flesh. And because of that, because of their inability to tap into divine visitation, it was an advantage to the enemy. And because of that, the enemy will have the advantage over them. Now, this is very dangerous. Even though we are talking specifically, contextually, we are talking about the time Christ came, you know, the word of God, who was in the beginning with God, and who was also God, walked in the flesh, walked on the earth amongst men in Palestine, in Israel. Even though specifically we are talking about that, we can relate it to our lives as God's children. Many of us are missing opportunities, spiritual opportunities, opportunities of spiritual growth, wisdom in the realm of the spirit, expansion in the kingdom, expansion in businesses and all kinds of endeavors because a lot of us are not praying as we are supposed to pray we are not growing because the knowledge base in the word of god is just not up there we are not investing time and resources to grow our spirit so that we can take advantage of angelic visitation so that we can take advantage of the fact that god has sent people on our way many just gather here and gather there to the extent that they even fail to honor the people God has sent their way who are building them. You know, every one of us is in a school. We are in a school. Everyone is in a class, in the spirit. And God has given unto us teachers. Who is your teacher? Some of us are so busy here and there. Of course, in a school, we have the head and there are other teachers. Sometimes God at one time, God can send one person on your way to be teaching you, sometimes one, two, or three. But you see, it is not everyone God has sent your way. And the Lord can show you the people who are now really you know, leading you in that class. What I'm saying is that the point I'm trying to make is that we need to know when God has visited us. We need to know when God is speaking to us. And how can we know? Let us labor in the word. 
let us be very prayerful let us be very prayerful worship god pray in the spirit so that we don't miss our opportunities if you are sensitive the lord can guide us in our dream to tell us that you have entered a season something is about to happen because we are sensitive you communicate to us in our dreams or he can speak to us in so many ways be spiritually sensitive so that you don't miss the time of your visitation may god help you to see dangers ahead of you you know may god help you to identify evil so that you avoid it and may god help you to take advantage of the good that is on your way in jesus mighty name